the potential of dividends and how to use them to generate passive income. Who wouldn't find the idea of passive income appealing after all? Who wouldn't want to do anything more than sit back and watch their extra money slowly grow in value? But it's easier said than done to make passive income. It only originates from trustworthy opportunities that have the potential for big payouts. When you own shares in a firm, dividends are a regular payout of your portion of the company profits, and this kind of investment can satisfy these criteria. To assess how dividends might fit into your investment strategy, you might want to consult a financial expert. How dividends are paid When a firm produces money, it has two options for how to spend the money reinvest in the company or provide dividends to shareholders. If it opts for the latter, each investor receives a reward based on the number of shares they own. Let's take the scenario where a business declares a cash dividend of $1 per share. A shareholder holding 50 shares in that scenario would profit $50 from their investment. Alternatively, a business may distribute stock dividends. Using the same scenario, the shareholder would get proportionally more stock if the business approved a 10% stock dividend. They would then acquire ownership of 50, 5 shares overall, or 5 more stocks. A rise in the stock price would be increasingly beneficial, even though the resulting stock dilution would leave the value of their shares unchanged overall. The best dividend stocks. Where to look? Dividend payments each quarter, month, or year are a great source of passive income. Finding businesses with a history of profitability and consistent payouts is essential. Find the best dividend stocks by using the following advice. Invest in businesses with a track record of reliability. A company isn't necessarily the best investment just because it has a billion dollar valuation. Additionally, the business must distribute dividends to its stockholders. As a result, it's a good idea to look up the history of dividend payments. In the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, reports, a corporation that has paid its stockholders for several years will typically continue to do so. A company with significant earnings but no history of paying dividends might be a risky purchase, if you want to boost your passive income, on the other hand. Balance is another important consideration. While it may sound great for a company to distribute every last cent of its revenues to shareholders, a payout ratio of 100% is not a viable business model. A firm that consistently distributes no more than 60% of its earnings and dividends is a good investment. By doing this, the firm will be able to grow and maintain itself, generating larger returns in the years to come. Efficiency and stable cash flow Significantly profitable businesses are more likely to distribute dividends. A company that posts year, over, year losses on the other hand, is likely to see a decline in its stock price and a reduction in its business activities. Cash flow is therefore essential. A thriving business will probably have better cash flow, which increases the likelihood of dividends. Determine whether sizable sums of money consistently enter and exit a company's accounts by looking through its financial reports. You're not necessarily searching for the company with the most eye-catching product or an initial public offering (IPO) that grabs attention. Rather, you're searching for companies with mountains of icy, hard cash. It's difficult to have cash flow when a company isn't making more money than it is spending, thus earnings are an important aspect of the picture. You can therefore determine how probable a company is to pay dividends in the future by looking at income estimates. In general, businesses that anticipate growth of at least 5% over the coming years are eligible to pay dividends to their shareholders. Prevent debt Debt may indicate that money won't be moving in the direction of an investor, just as cash flow indicates a company's capacity to pay dividends. A company with a debt, to equity ratio of 2.00 or greater would not be the ideal investment, even though not all debt is catastrophic. Profitable businesses with significant debt will probably use extra funds to pay off loans and lines of credit. For a long term business plan, it makes sense to take care of financial obligations but it is not beneficial for shareholders. As a result, avoid taking on excessive debt and concentrate on businesses that have complete discretion over how they spend their money. Analyze the market. Consideration of the larger economic backdrop is a component of researching a company. Market trends and dynamics in a particular industry are just as important as a company's cash flow. 
a company that experiences a few successful quarters in a declining industry, for instance, could not be around to continue paying dividends in a few years. Contrarily, biotech has historically been a profitable business and is likely to remain, so given the surge in vaccine and antiviral products brought on by COVID-19, biotech businesses will have lots of room to expand their operations without experiencing cash flow problems because medical necessity and international government funding are what are driving them ahead. How to make dividends into passive income You can build a dividend portfolio after researching firms that will pay dividends. Once you make your acquisitions and retain the assets for a short period, your collection of stock holdings should start to produce passive income. No investment, however, is risk-free. Follow these instructions to increase your passive income and mitigate your risks. 1. Invest with dividend payments Dividend reinvestment is a great strategy to boost your passive income. You can buy more stock using dividend money rather than keeping it all for yourself. You can potentially earn more money by increasing your exposure to the companies you've picked. Reinvesting for several years might increase the amount of passive income you generate. However, investing is always risky so there's a danger you could lose your further money. 2. Time is on your side Even if your investments initially appear underwhelming, the stock price ought to rise with time. If your research was thorough and you made investments in firms with strong foundations, they will succeed and their stock price will rise. Additionally, as time goes on, you gain because the price you paid for your stock was a fixed cost in the past. In other words, you have more chances to get dividends the longer you keep a stock. A profitable company's stock price doesn't need to soar for you to generate passive income. It merely needs to continue returning earnings to its investors. 3. Recognize Risks Although dividends are a great source of passive income, they are not always successful. Your dividend holdings could lose value, just like any other stock, bond, real estate, or other asset investment. In particular, one or more of the businesses in which you invest could face years of stagnation or failure. Because of the risks involved, diversification is crucial. It makes sense to diversify in this situation on two different levels. First, your investment portfolio, and second, your passive income sources. Risk can never be eliminated, but it may be diminished. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Instead, make thoughtful investments across a range of resources and opportunities for more dependable returns. For dividend investment amount Depending on the stock price, expected returns, and overall financial plan, you may decide to invest in dividends. Let's imagine, for illustration purposes, that you have $50,000 to invest, and have discovered a business with a share price of $1. 000 and a predicted annual yield of 5%. Your objective is to establish $2.500 in passive income annually, which can be achieved by purchasing 5 stocks. As a result, you realize that you could put all of your investing capital into the stock of this company and still meet your objective. $50.000 worth of stock would generate $2.500 in annual profit. However, if you only invest in this business, you will have little opportunity of diversifying your portfolio, and if this business fails, you will lose all of your investment money. It's generally a better idea to invest some of your money in this company while also looking for others, as diversification can help investors weather market volatility. The Final Verdict Each year, dividends can generate a passive income of hundreds or even thousands of dollars. A portfolio of stocks from multiple productive companies in various industries can withstand economic storms and offer a stream of income in perpetuity for investors prepared to conduct their research and reduce risks. How was the video? Did you enjoy it? Post your feedback in our comment section below and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates.